Wesley Vissers came in his best shape ever and won the 2024 Arnold Classic, upsetting the second place finisher at the Olympia, Ramon Dino. So this puts Wesley in the conversation of going against Chris Bumstead now. Front double biceps. I'm not prepared to see Sibam defeated in this pose yet and Wesley puts him in a position I've never seen him before. Sibam usually overwhelms his opposition with size first of all, but in this comparison he's getting overwhelmed. Wesley also has a big advantage through the arms which is significant in this pose. Wesley also has wider lats but Sibam's insert lower. Wesley also brought up his conditioning to so levels where he challenges the best in the world. Chris has better legs and he also has a smaller waist which is very important, especially in this division. Overall, Vissers might have done enough to defeat Sibam here, but it's very close. It's the analytical comparison, besides poses we also score points and the overall winner is the one with the most points. This way we prioritize quality in each pose over the quantity of one poses. Next is the front lat spread, a pose that is not mandatory in this division but since both of them hit it in their individual routines, let's take a look at it. There's no chance for Wesley honestly here, I don't know why he hit this pose or rather why he hit it this way because it doesn't do him any good. On the other side, Chris is the Dorian of nowadays. Nobody beats him in this pose, not even the open guys if you ask me. Side chest pose. Wesley has better arms and better shoulders indeed. Chests are comparable but Sibam opens up better here. Downstairs, Sibam wins from the side as well but Vissers is right behind him. If this were pure bodybuilding, Wesley would have a case to win in my opinion but Sibam looks way more aesthetic. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder indeed and my eyes are drawn to Sibam and it's not even hard to see that he's looking way better. Back double biceps. It's funny because if you followed Sibam's journey, in the beginning of his career his back was his weakest body part and now he's got the best back in the division. Yes, in my opinion, he even beats Ramon. Ramon is probably more gifted but he needs to pack more mass, just like Chris did between 2019 and 2020. Anyway, back to this comparison, Wesley may have the better back genetics but he's got less meat on that back than the 5 times the Olympia and yes, it's classic, not bodybuilding but Chris also looks more aesthetic, if you ask me. Granted, Wesley wins the shoulders and the arms overall but that's about it, Chris wins the pose. abs and ties and we have different footage for Wesley, a worse quality piece of video from the comparison round because he did not hit this pose during his individual routine. Anyway, I don't think Wesley can defeat Chris here despite having better defined abs because other than that, he loses everything else. He's got a wider midsection and weaker legs resulting in a weaker X frame as well. Chris Bumstead doesn't have the most defined abs, but that's pretty much all you can take away from him here. Sibam's vacuum is also deeper and better looking, so another win for the Mr. Olympia. Next we have another pose that is not a classic physique mandatory, but again since both of them hit it in their routines, we're going to take a glimpse at the most muscular pose. They're hitting different variations of the pose but for what this pose should represent Wesley definitely has the upper hand against Chris. With his better arms and shoulders and overall bigger structure, his dominance cannot be denied here. 
The last pose is the favorite classic pose and luckily for us they hit a similar pose showcasing one bicep while hitting a vacuum. Since we're talking about the arm being a focal point, Wesley has the advantage again but aside from that he's not impressing with anything else compared to Seabum. The Canadian bodybuilder has the better structure, the better taper and the better lower body and overall I'd say Seabum has the advantage again. In the end Wesley can challenge Seabum especially in the upper body and also because of his overall stature but there are some key elements that hold him down against Chris. Like his wide midsection, his weaker lower body and the back. So as a conclusion, Wesley Vissers at the 2024 Arnold Classic doesn't beat the last stage version of Chris Bumstead from the 2023 Mr. Olympia.